Tomorrow's war is full of so much mystery and intrigue. So many possibilities and so many unanswered questions. But the biggest question unanswered is not the white spikes and it's not where they came from. It's not how humans found time travel. The whole plot of this movie depends on one thing. Who are the pilots in the ship? That's right. Everything depends on who they are. Why do I say this? It depends on whether they're friend or their foe. Was this an act of war or was this an accident? Was the crash avoidable or was it intentional? Well, in order for us to answer these questions, we must ask more questions. And in order for us to find the answer, we must first establish a foundation. And that foundation is a pilot's responsibility. So then we can go from there. Well, an airline pilot's responsibility is different from no other pilots. Their job is to create a flight plan. This is important. Considering their aircraft's performance, altitude, weather conditions, checking the airline or aircraft before every flight. That means checking the engines, the radars, the navigation systems, and so forth. An airline pilot or a pilot's responsibility is not a simple one. Each one of these things we just mentioned comes with their own problems and they're not small. But that is the responsibility of a pilot. And with that responsibility comes a lot of decisions that have to be made. Whether those decisions are small or big that have large consequences. Were these pilots commissioned to invade the earth or was this an accident? So let's get into that. Were they invaders? Well, that question is still a mystery, but we're gonna try our best to guess. If this was an invasion, these pilots were enemies of the earth. One question is, why crash on a glacier? It's a good question to ask. Why crash on a glacier? To understand why we have to answer this question, is we have to understand the earth makeup. The earth is mostly water, 71% water. The earth is only 29% landmass. That is it. And on top of that, of that 29%, 10% of the landmass is covered by ice. So it's a small, infinitesimal number if you take in the whole percentage of the Earth. To crash in such a Pacific area of a glacier, out of all the spots of the Earth to crash, seems a little bit odd. If this was a military operation, why crash? in a Pacific area, in such a small target area that will hamper mission success. It doesn't make sense. But on the other hand, if this was an accident, what people do is if they know they're carrying cargo that is dangerous, they try to put it in an area that where people are not. If these were combatants, if this was an invasion, and they were carrying life extinction weapons, that means taking out all life forms of Earth, 
why pacifically crash in a small area that has no life jungles they bypass oceans they bypass to crash land on a glacier that has no life to me that seems like it was done on purpose i don't know who the pilots are but judging from just what i told you their responsibility i believe they came to earth because they thought they can fix their ship let me put it this way you're on the highway you're driving your car has a engine light come on or your gas light comes on you know you have a certain amount of time before the next exit so you head towards that exit that's not your exit you wanted to get off at but you head there because you believe that you can solve the problem that you're immediately facing now as you head towards that exit you realize that the problem is getting worse you won't be able to make it to the exit you thought or be able to fix the problem. The car now has to be pulled off on the side. Basically, you have to stop wherever you can. That is what I believe happened. They had a problem. They were heading to Earth to fix that problem. The problem turned into a bigger problem and that turned into a crash. I don't believe they intended to release a life extinction creature on a planet where humans were very little threat where the creatures on this planet were very little threat and could be easily dispatched in any other way especially for a creature that can travel through space so i don't know i think the pilots of this show are the greatest mystery of this show and the most intriguing so, what do you think, guys? Who do you think the pilots are? Are they soldiers? Are they combatants who purposely invaded the Earth? Or are they pilots that had a crash? Let me know below, and I'll read your comments with most intrigue. Thank you for watching.